What's up, Wayne Baron here with DrFX.net, and we are inside of Adobe Edge Animate CC. And what we got here, if we got a question, and it comes in from Sephrella Lim. I doubt I pronounced her name right, but anyway. She says, hello, I'm creating an interactive story, so what I need is that the user needs to click several times first before they can go to the next chapter. But I don't know how to make the next button appear. Okay, so I was doing some research because, out of all honesty, I didn't know how to do it either. And so I was doing some checking around, and I just happened to find um, a post on the Adobe Forum that just happens to be from our asker. And so, uh, which is right here. So she basically asked this question, and the code right here uh, didn't really explain much on how to do it. So I downloaded the project file and I looked through it and it worked fine. It did what it needed to do. However, it did not uh, work correctly when you used it for multiple images or multiple buttons. It would not work properly. It would only work on one button. So what we got is that this right here is the page. Let's go ahead and reload it. And what we're going to do is that we're going to just select random items here. And then uh, each one of the items that we select is going to drop its opacity about half percent uh, down to 50. And then choose the bed, the chair, and the teapot. And then once we're finished, it clicks on or shows our next button. And which, for some weird reason, will not load our page. But anyway. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. So let's go ahead and start a new composition. Let's, okay, we're gonna save it. We're gonna save it into, let's go ahead and copy out them images. We're gonna create a new image, lesson. And paste the images in yonder. And then this right here is our stage choose. Okay, so we got all of our images here. So let's just drag them out onto our stage and hold down the shift key to bring them down to a decent decent size bring our chair bring it down to a decent size as well okay that all looks good okay next thing we're going to do is that we're going to type out some code and uh, some of this code I'm just going to paste in and so you can download this project from our dark effects dot com website uh, if you are not a member i suggest that you become a member in order to download these codes if you're a member of coding source please go on to coding source go into your your member profile there and click on the uh, dark effects button to automatically become a member of dark effects okay let's go ahead and get started go into our stage let's go inside of composition ready and let's go ahead and copy out this code symbol code set uh, we're going to set a variable count zero then we're going to come down here to click and then we're going to grab a hold of this code and paste this in so basically what this is doing is that it's uh, grabbing a hold of our variable which is our count variable okay we've got five objects on our stage one two three four five so that's five objects so you would come inside of your click and you would change this to how many objects that you have on your stage. Okay, once we, once we, once we reach the five, then we're gonna click on our next button. So let's go ahead and close out of that and let's create our next button. So let's drag this out and then write in some text, next. Drag this over to here, drop it down some. That looks good. Now let's uh, double click this, this is button, and choose both of these items, right click on it and convert to symbol, and this is gonna be button one. Whoops, no it's not. It's gonna be next button, isn't it? So let's change that to next button okay so now we got all that done let's go ahead and set our button to off okay that way we do not see it let's go ahead and say what we've done so far now okay what we want to do is that we need to add in 
uh, quite a bit of code, so we're going to we're going to do all this in order. Okay, so we got them in order: bed, chair, stove, Twitter, and teapot, and then our next button. So let's come up here to our bed, click on it, choose click. Okay, this right here is. This is our count. Okay, we need to have this. This right here is going to create a count of one. So whenever you click on this, it's going to create that count, then it's going to add it into our variable, and it's going to count it as a new. So now we need to drop our opacity. So let's go ahead and drop our opacity. And we want to choose our bed, and then CSS, and then we're going to opacity colon and we're going to do 0 0.5 and then that is going to end there okay so whenever we click on this it's going to set our opacity to 0 0.5 now okay so now the next thing that we want to do we need to disable okay once you click on the bed you're going to set the opacity you're going to create a count but we also need to disable it Okay, so that's what we got right here. We're going to disable it with this code. Okay, so what we got is that we got a function to disable. Okay, that's what this is right here. Once we click on the bed, it will disable it and then uh, make it to where we cannot click it no more. Because you don't want to have multiple clicks and each one of your clicks will create a count. So if you click on the bed five times without having this, then it will show your button okay we don't want it to do that we want to be able to click it only one time disable the bed and then go over to the next one so we set the opacity we disable it from these two lines right here and we create a count all done in one click so let's go ahead and copy all this out click OK come over here to chair click and then type this in change this to chair Oops and change this to chair and that's all it needs to be changed so then basically we're just going to go through and do this to each one of these and then for our click or our button we bring it open and we want to open up a URL so we're going to click right here and then we're just going to open up a URL so we're just going to do dark effects okay so and we're going to do a blank. That way it opens it up in its own in its own window. Okay. Close out of that. Now. Control enter. Open it up over here. Okay. So if everything goes right, we should be able to select each one of these items individually and up to five. And it should show our button. Also, whenever we click on each one of these images, they should only change that image. As long as I change all the information whenever I copy it and paste it. So, let's do the bird. The bird changes. The bed. The bed changes. Stove. The chair. And the teapot. And there we go. We got our next. And then it opens up darkeffects.com. Okay. That is how you add in an interactive website to where you can allow people to basically play a game. Okay. So, I hope this is what. I can't even pronounce her name. Safrilla so Lim, this is what you asked for. I hope. Okay, y'all have a good one. Okay, well also, you can set the center stage and then we can come over here and we can set this to the center. Voila. Okay, Wayne Brown here, darkfix.net. Y'all have a rocking weekend now. Bye bye.